Okay, so now we're turning to Flemish Bond isolated or detached pairs. We looked at English Bond in the same format a short while ago uh, in the previous video uh, where we had the brick and a half, the two brick and the two and a half brick. Uh, now we've done these sizes because these are generally the sizes um, of isolated pairs and uh, even if these were attached pairs, if there was a wall um, going through the, the back of these or the front of these um, the pairs would generally be roughly this size and um, it's very rare that you would get any larger than this so again this is why we're doing this but if we just concentrate on one at a time again as we did before with English uh, the brick and a half if you remember when we talked about the English bond one we had this sketch that I did and uh, just emphasize because this is in half bond obviously it is stretcher bond so this pair is good for stretcher bond and because it's got a header and stretch in the same course, although it's not quarter bond, it's still acceptable for Flemish bond at this size. And um, again, we can see that because of the, the header and the stretcher in the same course, it's not um, good to be seen with an English bond wall. Okay, so we can see that Flemish bond, this one is acceptable. So that makes this one easy to do because it's going to be the same as that but we've uh, done the same as what we did before we've blown this up to a larger scale uh, so that you can see this and uh, again all you need to do is carefully with a pencil draw these in and then again we've got the header there so we know we're going to have a stretch of this side and a stretcher down to there stretcher to there and then a stretcher to there you can see that that does leave the center of the pair hollow um, now on a gate pair sometimes a reinforcing rod with a uh, concrete in here is a good way of strengthening that pair uh, you could just put a half bat in each time just to make it solid um, this is uh, generally the best idea uh, the concrete with a reinforcing rod and uh, just while we're here let me just do the elevation I like doing the elevations they're not uh, on these sketches that we have but I just think while I'm talking about these on uh, camera it's good just to have a, a visual uh, look at the elevation as well so that was the reasonably straightforward one and a half brick and um, what we're gonna do next is the two brick in Flemish Bond so again, we have blown this uh, scale up again for us. So, um, and again, just to remind ourselves, Flemish Bond, we are looking for headers and stretches in the same course. So if we just think um, how we want this to, to be looking, uh, if we go back to um, the original first one we looked at in English Bond, we can remember that there was lots of uh, three quarters in that one and uh, again the reason for that is to keep the the bond looking smooth so again with a pencil because again we want to work different things out here because we might do something and think to ourselves oh we've got a, a better way of doing this now um, so again what we're going to we're two bricks so we now just on the face what we could have here, if I just draw this gently here, we can have a header, stretcher, and a header. That is Flemish Bond. The next course we know that we want a header central of that stretcher. That will leave us with a three quarter. So if we feel we're happy with that, we now need to interpret that onto here. So what we have is We've got the first course there, header, stretcher, um, header, so header, stretcher, header. But here, this course here, will be what will be seen on this side. So we can see we've got three quarters. So it'll be three quarter. Then we have a header. So we can see that this is going to go through here. I'm just going to draw like so to start off with. But I think I'm going to be safe to do this. We have a three quarter and a three quarter and then a header there. So that to me 
feels right. And again, if we twist that round 90 degrees, we then can see that we're going to have three quarter there. And we're going to go all the way through with the two stretches that give a header face on here. And again, we have the three quarters. And then we can just have the closures at the back there. Closure, closure. So that would be the arrangement for Flemish Bond two brick pair. Okay, that just leaves us the last one now, which is the two and a half. This one's uh, slightly bigger uh, for me to do, so I think what I shall do here is use a rule. just to draw across. So with this one we are two and a half brick so I'm gently going to draw across here because I'm going to think to myself stretcher, header, stretcher. So let me just draw that out here again. Stretcher, header, stretcher. That course there. I'm happy that that is Flemish Bond. Again we're done in pencil lightly because um, as we go and build on here we may not agree with that so we might come back and uh, do some uh, erasing on that but what we're going to be looking at here now is uh, we want to be going down this side so if we have a closure in there possibly we may change our minds on this but that tends to work doesn't it we've got a header closure and then our stretcher so that there works for Flemish Bond just do very very lightly I have to say um, when you're working Flemish Bond out Flemish Bond is the most difficult to um, to get right simply because of all the headers uh, and stretches in the same course to get everything to work right uh, can be quite difficult now again what we're going to see through here is I'm going to keep these as three quarters because one of the rules that we did say before is that the closure must line through must have sectional bond on the closure it doesn't mean the closure goes all the way through what it means is a line of the closure will go through the entire wall. So that would leave us with um, we've got five headers in the middle there. Now what we could do there is just do them in that manner and then just twist everything around on the next course. And uh, again if we did do that we can obviously see that we are going to get a good finish on here and again I'm just going to do this very very lightly we have a closure there and a closure there and then we had our stretcher and we went back to closures I will um, continue with all of these like so we've got a three quarter there So that line goes all the way through and that line goes all the way through and then we have our headers going through again and there. Okay. So again just closures, stretcher, and again headers with our closures there. Okay, when our um, piers uh, get larger, we do have alternatives that we can do. 
um, but generally speaking once you find something that um, does work like this then again this gives a real good um, feel and, and visually this is um, just what Flemish Bond is so again this would be perfectly acceptable um, for what we need to be looking at in the next video um, what we're going to be doing is uh, looking at reverse and broken bonds and um, we are heading towards um, stretcher bond where we'll be looking at um, reverse and broken bonds because again that is like the main cause uh, the, the main purpose of uh, all of these videos and um, to get you understanding different bonded arrangements uh, visually about balance brick work um, about reverse bonds and broken bonds and we'll go into that in a lot more detail uh, in the next two videos and, and hopefully the the last one which will be stretcher bond will be the one that will really benefit you uh, when you're outside on site and you have to do uh, your setting out on your face work